and the Flying Saucers. Johnny Gatlin on guitar, not as famous as Cliff Gallop or Greedy or Scotty Moore. Still, this riff is pretty unique. So let's roll up our sleeves and learn how to play it. And no, it's not played like this. And neither like this. Instead, let's take these two notes which are a part of this F major chord. Yes, it's F major because, by the way, I have a capo here on, on the first fret. So let's take these two notes and move them over here. And then let's do some sliding. Sliding up and down. That's an important part of this riff. Then one more thing. When I'm picking these strings with my right hand, I don't actually know, I'm not quite sure if I pick both strings, sixth and fifth, or if I pick just the sixth, or if I pick sixth string and accidentally sometimes I also hit fifth string. And I don't care. So it's a little bit dirty, it's inconsistent, and this dirt and inconsistency is a part of the game here. Then let's add even a bit more dirt. You can hear that I'm hitting, or actually I would rather say touching some strings after I slide down. And, in fact, I don't really know which strings do I touch at this moment, so most likely it's open fourth. But sometimes it could be open fourth string and a touch of open fifth. And in any case, I mute them with my left hand, simply putting my fingers on the strings right after picking. And that's the main pattern of this riff. Why don't you do me now, run, don't you worry? Why don't you do me now, run, don't deserve me? Now, what about other parts, other guitar parts of the song? Well, intro. It goes like this. Just F minor pentatonic. Then the refrain. Refrain is played using a very conventional Travis speaking. Slide. Sorry. The chord here is B flat major, this actually E shape, but I prefer to fret it using my thumb. Slide. And I'm adding this note is A flat, second string, uh, which fret? Ninth fret. And now playing the same. A flat on the second string, but not using my index finger or middle finger, just strumming the whole chord 
uh, on the fourth beat of the bar with my thumb. And now adding another note to the same chord shape, which is C, first string, eighth fret. And then back on E. Actually, it's not E, sorry, it's F, because I have this capo. Hammer on. Then the next chord, I would call it B, but because I have the capo, it is C. Actually, what's important here is that the bass line, conventionally, if you play Travis speaking, you would probably start with C on the 5th string, and then G 6th string and 4th string. However, on the original recording, you can clearly hear that uh, Johnny Gatlin, the guitar player, starts uh, his bass line, starts this whole leak, uh, on during the C chord, he starts it with G on 6th string. The next chord is B flat. And back on F. Now, what about fingers of my right hand? I'm using uh, thumb, index and middle finger, uh, but if you are just starting your Travis speaking journey, you can simplify it down to thumb and index finger, and then you will have to learn it like thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, Thump, index thump, index thump, index thump, 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 thump, index thump, index thump. Finally, the ending, it couldn't be easier, probably. You better trim me right, honey. How don't you do in a row? If you wanna get lonely, don't you do me no wrong. And the final note is played like this with index and thumb. Now, I also actually know how to play solos from the song, but don't tell anybody. Still, if you would like to have a video about the solos, let me know in the comments down below. In any case, thank you for watching, all the best and goodbye.